Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a big old haul. I have not done a haul in a while and if you have been subscribed for a little while, I love hauls. I love watching hauls, I love making hauls, um, but I hadn't like shopped in a quite a while and then this is kind of the stuff that when I did start like shopping again, I kind of, it, this is from like September until now and um, this is all the stuff I have bought I only realized when I was like getting the more recent things it was like a smaller thing I was like oh what was the last thing I actually like showed and it was like a back to school haul so I know I haven't been posting super frequently that is just because college was kicking my butt and I'm not done exams quite yet I still have another final left on the 21st which is annoying and yeah I thought I would take a little break from studying to film and maybe upload this and um, so as I said this is a haul I have a bunch of stuff and um, again I said this is coming from like September until now so I have um, maybe one or two things from like Uniqlo and Ferv 21 stuff from Zara one of the things I can't really show you because I'm wearing right now because I forgot I never hauled it and <laughs> Gap Factory which is like the outlet so it's like it's really similar stuff to what's in Gap and I, I do sometimes shop in Gap I'm basically like a mom but there's some good things to be found in Gap and I will show you that um and oh Shein that's a big one I have that's really why I was filming this is that I just got some stuff from Shein and then one or two things from ASOS as well so we're just gonna jump right in there's so much stuff that I want to share with you and yeah let's just get started so the first thing I'm gonna show you is from Gap and it is a jacket and you can see on the tag here this is like so the like style, which I had looked at on the Gap website um, for like the springtime. I looked at it for like last spring, but I decided not to get it. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll get it next year, you know, because it was kind of later in the season because you do need a jacket in like pretty much all of spring. And a good portion, I realized I'm not wearing any earrings today. Great, I've been out in town and everything. Um, but I decided not to get it. But then, so it was 80. That's why I was like, no. And then it was the like style. Um, or yeah, this is the like style. Um, in the Gap Factory store was 55, 90, and then it was 30, and then there was an extra 30% off that, whatever that is, on, this is around Black Friday. So you can see that it, you can kind of like pull it in at the waist, so you'd kind of wear it open more so. It's really soft. I got a small. They didn't have any extra smalls, because typically I would be an extra small in Gap, but it, it doesn't look as cute now but it is so cute on the cuffs are really nice it's a really nice length and um, I'm only like touching 5.3 so um, something like this is really nice rather than having long jackets all the time it's got a cute little collar um, but yeah I'm so excited that I got this finally and it was not too expensive so the two other things I got during this like Black Friday sale in um, Gap Factory was first off this super cute top. I'm gonna show this side. This super cute top. It's got peplum, and it's just a regular like kind of scoop neck. Well, not really scoop neck. Yeah, scoop neck. It's not quite. A, it's not tight enough to be a crew neck. And it's got a fun little peplum at the bottom. And I liked it because it was long sleeve. And I'm always looking for more long sleeves. And it's a really pretty color. It's really like light and stretchy. And um, this I did get in a medium because it was like, I feel like sometimes tops you know that fit like too weird across the boobs like they're too tight and I wanted this to be like really loose and fun so I got it in a medium and it says on the tag it was $24.40 but I'm pretty sure this was half price again and um, that was the yeah that was the art price so it was definitely um about 12 euro and I think it's so cute and I'm excited to wear it I haven't worn it yet obviously because I had it in a bag waiting to haul it but I thought that was a really good deal and it's really versatile like a really easy piece to just put on for college and um, and then lastly I got a real basic and I got this in an extra small which is my usual size in a place like Gap and um it is just a really simple plain black cardigan with a still round neck um, buttons all the way down you know nothing fancy on the sleeves or the cuffs or anything like that because I just wanted something super basic and again this was super this is 2090 originally so again this was like half price and um, during Black Friday so amazing that's all I have from Gap so I'm just gonna move on to the stuff that I got in Zara first off is the pants I'm wearing if you can see them they are a um, like burgundy red more like just a deep red 
velvety pant, um, like velory velvet, and they're really cute, I have to say. They're really cute. They're high-waisted, they're stretchy. I think they're around 30 euro. I'll try and link some of this stuff down below, um, but I would definitely recommend them because they're actually super warm. They're, they feel like wearing like really thick leggings, um, and yeah, they're really soft and stretchy, and warm, much nicer than jeans in the cold weather, and very festive looking. So I think they're cute. Um, and yeah, they're really comfortable and nice and high-waisted. I don't usually find a lot of stuff in Zara. Um, their sizing I find to be a bit weird. I actually managed to find those pants and like I would never get pants in Zara. And then I got this, I actually got in a large because I thought their sizing was weird. But um, I, I really just like buy what looks like it's gonna fit the nicest on me rather than like what should be my size or how it like should be worn. Um, so I think this is more so supposed to be a crop top but I got it in a large so it's more of a like regular length top. Um, cause it's kind of boxy fitting anyways, but it's got this gorgeous pearl detail. It's like really making me dark. Um, pearl detail across the front, but not across the back, which is what I really liked. Cause as you can tell, I have very long hair and naturally it's very unruly. So it gets caught and stuff like that. But I loved this. I wore this when I was in London and it was so cute. Um, I think one of the pearls is actually getting a bit tarnished there, but that's okay. Um, this was like, 12 euro maybe it was quite inexpensive from what I can remember it's kind of weird because it has unfinished edges which I don't like but it was pretty cheap and it is super cute so I'm really happy with this purchase for sure and it looks so cute with the pants I bought and again from Zara which I think is an absolute gem the only style of dress I had like successfully bought there before was a shift dress and I've it's actually a couple years old now and um, it's like a burnt orangey red lace and it's really cute and I think it was my mom who spotted this um, and it is the cutest it is very similar to that print that everyone has that adorable skirt from J Crew in in the on the UK website it sold out and then it went on sale and I was like wait what it went on sale in extra large and double XL so that is not my size <laughs> um, so this gorgeous shift dress it nicely has a uh, darts at the front so it doesn't look like a big old sack and i really like the sleeve length because it's not too much of a cap sleeve but it's also not like weirdly long it's like the perfect length and um, just a really simple kind of um boat neck to be honest it is quite wide it's kind of like this top where it shows off most of your collarbone and then it kind of comes to the knee ish or just above the knee, um, probably comes a bit shorter on taller people. But um, I got this in a medium because I'm always afraid of Zara stuff. Their pants and their skirts are so small in the waist, or not in the waist, in the um, hips and like thigh region. So that's not good for me. Um, I should probably give some size guidance given that I'm giving you the sizes for all these things. I'm like a 6'8 on top and then I can be up to a 14 uh, for pants. So, well for skirts. Pants, I'm usually like a 10. So I'm just a confusing person overall. Um, so I got this in a medium and this is a really nice quality dress. It's really nice for like casual wear. It looks so nice with tights and boots, like tall boots, mm, so cute. Um, and I know it's gonna look really cute with heels for like Christmas parties, but I also know it's something that it's kind of nice professional wear. Um, it's Zara Woman, so it kind of is in their professional wear section, but I know that this will definitely be something I can kind of carry through to post-grad life as well. Now moving on to the stuff from Shein. I first of all got this really cute, I'll definitely try and link this stuff below because um, it's always hard to find stuff on Shein. They have so much stock. Uh, which is the front and which is the back. So I got this, it's this way. Woo, keeps washing me out. Okay, so I'm gonna go like really crazy in this now on my face. But I got this black stepped hem turtleneck jumper. You can't really see it. Oh, there you can. Okay, so it's got like a ribbed slight, it's not like a fold over turtleneck. Um, it's got full length sleeves. It is so soft. It's so much better quality than a lot of the knitwear I have received previously from Shein. Like this is so, so nice. Um, and it was so inexpensive. Like I would have thought this was such a deal if I bought it in person. That's really what you need to think of. Like would I have paid that much if I bought it in person? And um, when it comes to things like this from Shein and it has a stepped hem. So that means like the back is longer than the front and it's you know quite flattering especially if you're shorter and it's got like a little split in the side as well which you yeah you can see there um, and that's just so that it doesn't cling around your hips either this was not described as cropped 
but I'd say to an average height person, this is a little bit cropped. Uh, for me, it's not. It's the perfect length for me, so I love that. But it is, um, definitely if you're taller, this is not described as cropped to my memory, so watch out for that. But I'm really excited to wear this. I think it's gonna be really nice in like January when things aren't like as festive, but it's still really cold. And I just think it's really chic looking. I'm really excited to wear it. So this item might seem a little bit familiar. This is also from Shein and it has long sleeves. I have this top in a light blue uh, in cap sleeves and I wear it all the time. Um, I always get compliments on it and it's just like a really easy go-to piece. And then I saw they had it in long sleeves and I was like, ooh girl. So of course I got it for myself in a long sleeve. And when it was advertised, it looked much more of a berry color. It's definitely not, it's definitely like a cherry. Okay, you know, cherry's a berry, but like it's more of a very warm, slightly orange kind of color. Um, it is still super nice. I think it looks more true to color what I'm seeing here, um, it definitely looks more true to colour um, than it did on the website, but it is still a really, really nice colour. It's just more like red toned than purple toned, if that makes sense, um, or pink toned. And yeah, it's super cute. So it has peplum on the bottom, if you don't already know this top, um, and it kind of scoops lower at the back. So again, really flattering to short people. I got this in a large, and my other one I think is a medium or even a small, but again, it was too tight across the boobs because there's no um, stretch in this fabric. So I would just give that warning to people um, that it's kind of tight across the chest, and I'm not the only one who has described it as that because I've seen other people who have the same top who described it that way. So um, yeah, also the sleeve ending is like, the cuff is different on this. It's a little elastic. And on the other one, it's just a regular seamed cuff. Like it's, um, oh, what do you call it? It's got like a proper edge, but um, it's really tight. And again, a lot of people said that it was tight. So they've obviously made a little change in that. But this is so cute and I just love the peplum and I'm excited to wear this. I think it's kind of Christmassy, but also it would really translate well into the spring. The last clothing item I have from Shein is this basic grey t-shirt that has little ruffle edge sleeves. I think this is so cute. It's very me. I like basic t-shirts, but I like them with something a little extra and I love ruffles. So um, I think this is going to be really, really cute. I got this in a medium and I definitely think it is the right size. Um, it does have some like shape to the t-shirt. I don't know if you can see that. It kind of does scoop in like that, but uh, still I would want it nice and loose and baggy and um, I don't really like t-shirts that are super tight um, especially if they're not like a good scoop neck I would only like a real scoop neck that's tight if it's a top or like a tall neck like that I don't want anything um, too fitted because I think it's weird here but uh, I think this is really cute and I'm excited to wear this I think it's gonna be really nice in the spring and summer it's definitely not a winter piece but it was like six euro so definitely worth it in my opinion last item I got from Shein. I did get a free gift because I ordered on Black Friday weekend and uh, it was a hand mirror. So it's it's not even like cute printed one. It's just, I know it has a cartoon on it or something. I'm not that much about it, but it's fine. Um, wasn't ordering it for the free gift. Um, but I got these super cute earrings. The camera isn't really picking them up, but I'm guessing you can kind of see them from this distance. They're just a tassel earring. They're not like super high quality, but it is Shein and they are really good for four euro. They have like um, a little kind of corded, woven cord kind of top part and then just this nice loose tassel. And the way that they're constructed, you could actually kind of remove the top part and just have the tassel, which I think would be really cute either. But again, these are four euro and because they're like a statement piece, I thought they'd be really fun. They're also black. I do have Kendra Scott L earrings, but they are navy. So they don't go with everything. And I thought that these would be fun in place of them if that fit is black. So yeah, I'm excited to wear these like around Christmas time. I think they're really fun. Ooh, this is a long haul. Um, from ASOS, I got two little accessory bits and they actually just arrived today. And it was because I was ordering stuff for like people's Christmas presents. And I got myself this mug that says, as if, and I love it. I love the movie Clueless. So when I saw this, I had to get it. It was like six euro or so, I think. And I, yeah, I just love it so much. <laughs> Funny story, in college, I don't drink that much like tea or coffee or anything like that. I do drink water out of mugs though. I don't ever use glasses, which is probably strange to some people, but I have two mugs. Like, because it's just me, um, I only need the two, but I feel like 
maybe I should get another one. So then when I saw this, I was like, okay, there's my third mug, perfect. And it's got really nice like bronzy gold foiling on it. So I'm very excited to have bought myself that. So the other thing I got from ASOS is this super cute bralette from Monkey and it's white. It is like really sheer, but that's okay. Um, as are most bralettes, but I really like this style. I think it's gonna fit really well. It is an extra small. Um, I always have an issue trying to find stuff for my rib size because my rib size is actually a 30, which is kind of unusual. And it means that bralettes usually don't fit or if they do, sorry, my dog is barking. There's no point in me trying to stop or somebody's leaving the house right now. Um, but yeah, it is an extra small, but I feel like the style will be a bit more forgiving. And yeah, I'm really excited to have this. It was only 13 euro as well, so maybe I'll link this down below. It was sold out in a lot of sizes and colors and stuff though, but I do like the white. And we're finally getting towards the end. This is just taking so long. I have so many things to show you. Um, I got this really cute, like, sweater top from Uniqlo. It is extra fine merino wool. Um, I was just checking the tag and also I haven't worn this yet clearly and um, I got this a little while ago But I really really like it. I think it's just so ladylike and delicate And I think it's gonna be really cute to wear with the skirts and like the springtime and um, I'm probably gonna actually wear it in the next few days There's a lot of things like happening that I kind of need to look cute for so um, yeah I think this was really nice and I feel like this was around 20 euro or so it wasn't super super expensive it was 25 euro so I think that's really good for something like this that just looks so classy and yeah very understated and cool and the last clothing item I have is this dress from forever 21 which isn't like it's not my usual style I would have to say um but it just when I saw it on the model I was like I feel like that might look good on my shape and it did it was actually really cute I wore this for like a night out with um dance friends and stuff it was after like a showcase competition -y thing and it is this bodycon dress it's pretty long like it's a longer length one on me it's probably like I think it is labeled a mini dress but it like comes to almost my knee for me so it's it's more of those like longer length ones which I feel like is fine if it's a bodycon dress because like it's so fitted and um, it the sleeves are also nice because they're like something else I was showing earlier they're not like super cap sleeves. They have a little bit more length than them. And the neck is really high as well, which is nice because even though it's super fitted all through the body, it, the fact that it has like a higher neck and a longer leg just kind of evens it out and makes it look really cool. It's just, as you can see, black and white striped all throughout. It is bobbling already and I've worn it like twice, but it is really cute and it's really, really comfortable. I did get this in a medium as well because I need that room for like my hips and stuff, but it is really nice and it's properly stretchy in the way that it doesn't um, just kind of trapeze out. You know when it's like it tents out between like your chest area and then like your rib area, it doesn't go in again for your waist before it comes out for your hips and just kind of hangs out there in the middle it doesn't cling to you enough and it kind of makes you look wider than you are this is really not like that it is so cute and i think it was like 20 euro it was pretty inexpensive so if they still have this definitely check it out it's a really cute kind of different thing but it's i like it a lot the last thing i'm going to show in this haul is not clothing it is my erin condren life planner so um i thought i would show this because this was a big purchase um it was one of the reasons why i hadn't been like shopping in general i hadn't bought any stickers which you'd know of if you're subscribed to my planner channel or follow me on my planner Instagram. But um, yeah, that's why I wasn't buying like stuff for planners and I wasn't buying clothing or anything like that because I was saving I was going to Planner Con Europe. Um, but I got myself my first Erin Condren Life Planner. I've been using a Kiki K ring band planner up until this point and I really wanted to move into an Erin Condren even though I'd sworn off them, long story. Um, but I'm so excited to start the year in this planner. I'll give you a little sneak peek of my January spread because I think it's really cute. Um, if you are unfamiliar with planning and the planning world, check out my planner channel. I will have it linked in the card here. Um, and some of my videos as well. I'll have a link there. Um, but it's a thing. Basically, you can follow me at Anime Plans. It'll be linked down below. Um, that is an example of a month to view. This is a kit from Erin Condren 
the brand like itself um, and I do weekly videos planning out my week um, with lots of cute stickers and kits and stuff so definitely check that out that was a big purchase I made and I'm just so excited about it so um, yeah as well as that I have my LL Bean duck boots which is something else that was like a big thing they were like an early Christmas present but uh, that's kind of hauling them as well um, but I talked about those in my previous video which I'll maybe feature here at the end and um, comparing them to the Sperry saltwater duck boot. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I was able to cut it down to at least like under 15 minutes because boy that was a lot of clothes but I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see how any of these things look or how I style them be sure to follow me on my Instagram at anime.yt and subscribe to this channel to see more from me. So that's it for this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!